multiply the following decimal first one 5.678 into 10 when a decimal is multiplied by 10 we have to shift the decimal point by one place to the right that is we have to put the decimal point before 7 so it becomes 56.78 next one 0 0.2215 into 100 when a decimal is multiplied by 100 we have to shift the decimal point by two places to the right so we have to put the decimal point before 1 so it becomes 0 0.22.15 0 does not have any value if it is in the first place. So we can write it as 22.15. Next one, 10.56 into 1000. When a decimal is multiplied by 1000, we have to keep the decimal point by three places to the right. Here, there are two places after the decimal point. So append 10 to the right of 6 and multiply. So we can write this as 10.560 into 1000. Now when this is multiplied by 1000, we have to shift the decimal point by 3 places to the right. So we have to put the decimal point after 0. There are no digits after 0. So we need not put the decimal point. So it becomes 10,560. Next one, 0.52 into 10. When a decimal is multiplied by 10, we have to shift the decimal point by one place to the right. So it becomes 5.2. Next one, 0.52 into 100. When a decimal is multiplied by 100, we have to shift the decimal point by two places to the right. That is, we have to put the decimal point after 2. There are no digits after 2, so we need not put the decimal point. So it becomes 52. Next one, 0 0.52 into 1000. When a decimal is multiplied by 1000, we have to shift the decimal point by 3 places to the right. Here, there are 2 places after the decimal point. So I append 10 to the right of 2 and multiply. So we can write this as 0 0.520 into 1000. Now shift decimal point by 3 places to the right. So we have to put the decimal point after 0. There are no digits after 0. So we need not put the decimal point. So it becomes 520.